See that right there? That's from the property appraisal's office. This is Jupiter Farms. See that building right there? That was built without a permit and put on that property without a permit. I have a phone conversation with the permit place. See that right there? That's a trailer that was pulled in there. It's an office trailer. It was pulled in there and parked. That was put there without a permit. That used to be a residential uh, home right there. But they converted it to a... Uh, I'm sitting on Staley Road in front of Jupiter Farms Plant Nursery. There's the one place that the inspector said he can't see. There's the other one that he says he can't see. That they built without permits and they put there without permits. Now Vincent Beretta put, said he didn't see no buildings when I called and reported them building shit without a permit. An office building because we had the zoning changed. But it used to be a residential property. But I used to know the people that lived there. I grew up with them. But according to Vinson, he can't see these two buildings here from this Staley Road here. And I proved without a shadow of a doubt that he did see them. And he lied on his documents. And Dave Paschill, the head of the code enforcement, knows this. And he needs to be fired. But they ain't going to do it. And here is the document that he turned in to the uh, deal. Right here. Location of farm. Unable to find buildings or gain access. Guess who? And the case is closed. Why is it, people? Why are we paying these people to do the job and they're not doing it? And they just lie to their uh, to our faces. Because you can see clearly that he lied to us, the people of Lee County, Florida. And Dave Paschill, his boss, knows it. What are they going to do about it? Huh? Nothing. That's what they're going to do about it. They're just going to keep drawing their paychecks that we, the residents of Lee County, pays them. How about that shit? You see that right there? That's a... Uh this is a photo document from the uh, property appraisal's office that was taken right there. 1-13-2016. Now, according to this, this is Duke Farms, Inc. Now, according to the Code Enforcement Agency of Lee County, this, right there is Staley Road. It runs north and south off of Ty Street and Orange River. Either way you want to get to it. Alright. This used to be a residential property. About 8-10 uh, years ago. And uh, the people bought this because the parents died and the children sold it. Because I know one of the boys. And... Uh, they turned it into an agricultural property. Now, ten, eight, ten years ago, it used to be a plant nursery. I mean, it was full of plants. Now, today, on that deal, according to the code enforcement, they call it a tree farm. That's right. Tree farm. Now, Take a look at the aerial photo from the uh, 
Property Appraisals Office of Lee County. Here's the uh, property. There are six gas tanks right there underneath these little buildings right there. That's right. Six gas tanks. Uh, there's the property photo and supposed to be a tree farm people it's a tree farm damn there are some wicked looking trees right there look at the trees all different color trees oh there's a red tree Ooh. oh look at that one that's, that's a big square tree Ooh, that must be shrubbery <laughs> yeah right there's a there's an, uh, a brown tree with a white top. Must have been snowing. <clears throat> yeah, right there, Dave Pastel. About you there, uh, Robert Stewart. Oh yeah, we must not forget. Oh Mike, uh, I mean uh, Frank Mann, County Commissioner. Cause I got a letter from his office from the code enforcement in 2013 and I still got the original letter and the envelope that stating that this was a plant nursery back then and I've got photos on uh, here that it ain't showing no damn plant nursery what do you people think because there it is right there in front of you in black and white and you can see it for yourself Right there. There's the link. You can see it for yourself. All you got to do is go there and open it up. Now, who's lying? Me? Hey, I'm only showing what the county has posted on their website. As you can see. And like I said, there's the two buildings that they put on there without permits. I've already proven that. And that uh, Vincent J. Bennett or Brent or whatever the hell his stupid name is lied because he said he couldn't see them. And I rode by there and videotaped it. Hello? It's on video, people. Wake up, America. Smell the shit that the Lee County Code Enforcement in their government offices that are feeding you. You see that? That's Staley Road. There's Juniper Tree Farm. That's what the sign says now. Before it was plant nursery and before that or after that it was uh, landscaping. Now this is going across the street right there to this property right here across the street from uh, there. Okay, as you can see, there's another commercial business being operated out of this residential neighborhood here in uh, Staley Road in East Fort Myers, Florida. The Rural Buckingham Community Preserve. That's what the big blue sign says down the street there on Tice Street. This is our neighborhood. How about that? As you can see, there's a low boy. There's a dump truck. There's a front end loader. You know, there's a, there's a uh, earth mover. What the hell, people? This is going to be your neighborhood. Right there. See that? This is going to be your neighborhood. If we don't do something now and make the code enforcement do their job to the letter of the codes and everybody has to obey the codes. Ain't that right, Dave Pastel? Well, actually, when we had the conversation, you said that there are different people had different codes. That's what you said to my face. 
and I'll swear to it in a court of law. How's that? No. Different people don't have different codes. Everybody obeys by the same codes. That's the way it works. Leastwise it did.